four of these lower end Yabo power, uh, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate batteries. The problem is, is one of them stopped working. So I've been down to three on my solar system. Um, so what I did, this one, this one here hasn't been able to connect, hasn't been able to take a charge. It's basically, uh, the BMS hasn't been working. Wouldn't connect Bluetooth, wouldn't connect any way, shape or form. And these batteries are all sealed up. So what I did is I took, I took my angle grinder there with just a, uh, uh, I think it's a aluminum blade actually. It's for cutting aluminum. And uh, what I did is I cut all the way around the, all the cut way all, all the way around the battery. And what I actually did is just unplug the Bluetooth connection, plugged it back in, the damn thing worked. This battery has been sitting around for quite a while um, because it hasn't been working. I've removed it from my solar panel system. So this now works. I can hook it back up after I charge it up. So a little trick. I'll just uh, put this back together, either maybe some tape or silicone around it, and if it ever happens again, I can get to it and unplug it. I think it was just a coincidence that it happened, um, but they, it cuts really easy. So I would highly recommend if you have a problem and it's out of warranty, cut the damn thing. open. Be very careful when you cut it open. These wires are really close. I didn't, you can see I didn't cut them. You just got to go into the plastic. Um, I didn't cut any of these wires. Just got to be careful what you're doing. Just get, just get your blade in just far enough to poke through. You can feel when it pokes through and cut all the way around. Once you get it open, you'll see your BMS. Here's your BMS. It's actually not a bad BMS in this cheap battery, really. It does have a temp on the BMS. I don't think there's another probe, so there's no, there's no actual, it probably doesn't have a low temp. Well, it's supposed to, but I doubt it does. Anyways, all I did is I unplugged the Bluetooth, plugged it back in, and the battery came awake. And uh, this is really pretty chintzy. My God, it's got to be like two 10, 10 gauge wires. Ugh. It's a cheap battery, but it's still expensive. It was like 300 and some dollars. So it's worth taking it apart, fixing it. It works for my, my system, and I have four of these. So happy to have it working again. In case you have a problem, don't be afraid. Cut it open and uh, reset it.